put it all together here at Denny's. We came and decided to have breakfast together. Tom was coming through the area. So, yeah, it was great to get together. I called him up and I was on my way and passing through here. So we got together just to shoot the breeze, talk about trades, talk about life in general. It's great to have half of the On Track Tuesday guys together, huh? Yeah. Well, That's great. Yeah, it is. Cool. Hey, not bad, huh? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, hope you like that little melody of past photographs and video clips from, there was a lot there from Steamtown, because that was a good time. I just want to say again, thank you everybody for your support and getting me to over 500 subs. Uh, I'm just tickled pink with that. Also, uh, I, I again want to wish uh, Tom Pilling, who uh, was one of the founders of our our uh, uh, On Track Tuesday group, uh, he uh, took ill, had some gallstones, had to have his gallbladder removed, and he's recovering in the back of his truck. <laughs> Somewhere around Salt Lake City or something in Utah, I think. Uh, and uh, I, I wish you well, my friend. And uh, you got our prayer. Your prayers or my prayers have been for you, buddy. I can't imagine being recovering from an operation in the hospital in the back of your truck. But you do what you have to do, okay? Hats off to you, friend. All righty. Now, uh, also, uh, since I hit the 500, I will be having a contest, and I will have a video coming up, and we're going to—I'm going to show the prizes. Uh, I'm working on that. Actually, I'm actually still working on the prizes right now. Uh, I. Hoping to do something real special, but I still have to do a few things to make that happen. And uh, I'll have a, uh, uh, I'm going to actually make a video just for the contest because that works out well because Sparky does that and I like that. Um, uh, you know, and what and Vinny did the same thing. I, uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, follow their footsteps because, you know, They've already, as far as I'm concerned, that's where I'd like to be, where they are, uh, as far as uh, my hopes for my channel. Um, I don't know about if I'd want sponsors and stuff like that, but uh, just to, to have that many subscribers and, 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 and followers, it, it just it got to make you feel pretty good. To have that many friends. That's the thing. The more friends, the better. And I love it. But, uh, yeah, that's my hope for uh, um, for the channel. <coughs> Alrighty. And uh, another announcement. Uh, don't forget uh, On Track Tuesday, tomorrow night. It is with Redbird Tony. Yeah, it is with Red No. Yeah. Or no. Did I lose track? No, yeah, it's with Redbird Tony next week. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting as bad as everybody else. It's Redbird Tony tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> that was last week. So, anyhow, duh, <laughs> anyhow, don't forget to watch Red Bird Tony. I'm sure he'll have something very special for us, and uh, we'll, we'll see him, him tomorrow night. Now, let's get started with the, uh, the usual uh, shout-outs. And I'm going to start off with this one just mainly because, man, I just love it. 
And this is to Jason at Barnabas Junction. The Great Model Railway Challenge. And Jason, you made my week because I had something to watch almost every day this past week. Because uh, I, I love that Great Model Railway Challenge. And uh, he, he showed all five of the first five episodes this past week. And I'll tell you, it, it was great. It was just downright great. And thank you for doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you, uh, whatever you had to do to work out the deal with uh, whoever to, to do that without getting hit with a copyright or something like that. But uh, here in the U.S., that's, I, I, I honestly was not sure how to get a hold of watching that show because I watched it last year and it was really good. So, uh, uh, let's see, I have a, uh, Thank you, Jason. Love the show. What an awesome program. Oh, and I'm supposed to do this. This is what I wrote to myself. <laughs> this is a big 60, my 60 episodes. Not bad to Jason from your friends here in North America. I include North America because you got a lot of Canadian fans too there, Jason. So thank you very much. The next guy I got is uh, Lieberman. Lieberman, Lieberman is the name of the channel. DIY BNSF Locomotive and Auto Carrier. Now, this video is a scratch build on steroids. <laughs> and is what I, in this kind of stuff, I just love it. I, this guy built a train that works. It runs all by itself. You don't need any pushing it. All right. Build a train and the track all out of cardboard. And it works. I think the only thing that wasn't cardboard was the wheels here because they were made out of bottle caps. And uh, the, the little motor that he put in it. That's, everything else is cardboard. I'm telling you, is that not bad at all? You got to see the video. It's pretty cool. I have a link for the this and all the other videos in my description as usual. You definitely want to check it out because it is not bad. The next one is BFU Railroad. Look for an answer, heaven and hell. Well, first off, young fella, you ain't going to find the answer of heaven and hell with your railroad, I'll to tell you. But it was a, not a bad video at all. It was a nice look at your layout, and he combined it with some uh, music. Not my choice of music, but it worked well with the video. So it looks like a lot of fun to, to mess around with your layout, and uh, thanks for sharing. It was really great. BFU Railroad has 81 subscribers. Check them out, because it's not bad. The next guy is Brent Harris. Steam run on a 12 by 8 and a half foot Lionel layout. 280, a 282 with a 080 and a 2882. Wow, you gotta see this O scale layout. It's hard to believe that he did all this on a 12 by 8 and a half. I'm telling you, O scale, 12 by 8 and a half is a small layout. <laughs> I mean, it is a small layout. And, and he, they did it, he has a beautiful layout and, and really laid out nice. What an 
Oh, he has a train trestle. Awesome. I, I don't know how he fitted that in there on a low scale layout of, of this size. It, and then plus ran these four steam engines on there. Okay. So you, you got to check it out. Great video. Thank you, Brent. Not bad. Brent has 170 subscribers. Next one is Kevin Brown, Decatur Train Fair and Layout Update. And there goes my, I'm messing up already. It's great to see the progress on your expansion there, Kevin, and some great footage from the train show. Um, that was a pretty awesome tribute to your friend that passed away. Uh, I think his name was Dave, and Dave would be honored. Uh, I thought it was really cool how you guys took his modules and, and, and displayed them, all his modules at uh, the train show. That you couldn't ask for a better way to be honored when you pass on. So thanks there, uh, Kevin Brown. Check him out. Not bad. Kevin, I forgot to write down how many subscribers you have. I think you had two, a little over 200. But Kevin's a really nice guy. I met him at Steam Town. And... Uh, Check him out. You'll like his channel. He does a nice job. Next guy is Flying Crow. Contest, contest, contest layout update. <laughs> is the name of his video. And this was a real pleasant uh, update video. Uh, he had a nice little tutorial on how he does his roads. Uh, and, and he's a aw awesome modeler from what I can see from Robert, uh, who is the flying crow, you might as well say he, he is a very particular and meticulous modeler and he likes everything just the way he likes it. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it shows in his modeling uh, not only his uh, uh, layout, but his his weathering of his engines and stuff. I'm a big fan. I'm turned into a big fan for Robert. So, from Flying Crow. Uh, oh, yeah. And he did have said he was going to have a contest. He's going to have a contest. And he's going to give away two very nice HO hoppers when he gets to... 225 subs and he's at 187 uh, subscribers right now I think we can get him there and let's have this get this contest on the road so Robert can get rid of his beautiful <laughs> hoppers that he wants rid of <laughs> so thank you thank you and we all like contests and that's going to get it for today uh, on those shout-outs. We're going to go to the Real Fan Video Features. You know, it's like, didn't say of the week. I said features because I thought about it. And, you know, after last week, uh, I gave three shout-outs. I didn't make anybody a rail fan video of the week. And you know what? I got thinking about it. I said, instead of having a rail fan video of the week, I'm going to call it rail fan videos feature. Otherwise, I'm going to feature, it might be one person. It might be four people. But I'm going to, today, I'm going to do three videos that I saw that need mentioning, I think. And, so, and they're all rail fan videos. I think they're, I would call them rail fan videos. They qualify for, to me, as rail fan videos. And it's my show, so they qualify. <laughs> I'm getting to sound like Steve Brown. Hit me if I decide to do a mohawk with three hairs. 
Sorry, Steve. Forgive me. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's start out with these videos. First one is Chicago Models. The Metra 308 CNW 411. And it's just a little short video, and it's cool. <laughs> That's all, all I need to tell you. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. The next one is Black Diamond Rail Fan Productions. And uh, it's RBMNPISB with an SD40 and a SD50N. All them letters, I don't know what they mean. All I know is it was coal, coal, coal. <laughs> it was just a cool video. And I like the SD40s and the SD50, okay? Those were the only letters I understood what it was. The R B M N and the P S P I S B. I don't know what that is. But that's cool. That's okay. Uh, both Black Diamond and Chicago models have 220 uh, subscribers. And the last one I got for the Railfan video features is the Pensy Productions. Uh, the NKP 765, that's the nickel plate if you don't know who that, what the 765 is a pretty cool steam engine. Horsepower at speed, one great sh shot after another. And I mean it. It really was one great shot of the, the uh, 765 after another. This guy is, it had some just awesome photography. Um, he videoed it perfectly. So check it out. Uh, Pensy Productions. He's got 191 subscribers. Check him out. You'll love him. <laughs> and that takes us to the question of the week. And I'm going to fly off of uh, Flying Crow's video a little bit. And he mentioned me in the video of a past uh, question that I asked. And it was, what do you hope to accomplish by the end of summer on your layout? And he, he went into it a little bit, and his answer is pretty much the same as mine. Not as much as I'd like to have. Uh, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done either, which is pretty cool. So, I got thinking about it, and I thought, well, you know what? That's a good question, and it keeps us in a little bit of check. It maybe gives us a little something to shoot it for a goal. So, uh... My question for this week is, what do you hope to accomplish on your layout by spring? Since this is fall, so that'll give us all winter. And this should be our production time because winter time usually is, you ain't got much else to do, you know, other than Christmas shop and, 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 uh, you know. There ain't a whole lot more left to. There ain't a whole lot to do in the, in the winter. So you, most people don't take their vacations unless you're into skiing and stuff like that. At least around here, anyhow. I don't know what they do, you know, other places. But I know around here, it's you better find something to keep you busy during the winter. So, and we know what we like to do to keep busy. So I hope to accomplish a lot. I haven't really thought about it into detail, but we'll give it a shot, huh? And if I remember right, I said that I wanted to have my mountain up, which I don't. I wanted my track work all running and wired, which I don't. I have I have the track work pretty much 
I, I, I got a couple little tweaks, but I've got it pretty close to where I want it. Uh, the wiring, uh, I, well, since I made a couple little changes, which I'm going to show you in the layout uh, um, feature part here uh, at the layout. Uh, well, let's just, you know what? Let's just do it. I'll just go right into it. Give you some smiles. That way you can put it up there and scare the cat. All right, we're going to turn it around here. And here we are at the layout. And uh, we're going to come over here. Back to this spot. And I'm going to show you. We got, I got it pretty much in there. And I was having a problem with uh, the turnout. This turnout right here. When they were coming through. And uh, it would short out. And so... I uh, did a little trick that I learned off of uh, Barnabas Junction, believe it or not. Uh, Watching one of his videos, which I know other guys have put it out there, but I didn't really ever pay attention to it. But I paid attention because I've been having this problem. So, But I stuck uh, insulating joiners here and here. So what it did is it, I have to... Put a couple more drops in so that it picks up the power back on this. And on this end here, I changed it around. I'm going to have it to where it's going to come down through there. And and it can tie in to this line here. Well, I need to get a pointer. This line here, which you can see. And I have it to where it ties in. Or I can keep it going that way and it'll tie back into the main line okay and uh, I have I did get some of it wired over that way but I need to get some wired over this way and I went along and I think I got in the main line anyhow except for maybe this curve turned out which I haven't had any problem with it yet but I haven't put the uh, Oh, I can't see my finger. I haven't put the uh, uh, insulators in on that, but I have on all of the other turnouts, and I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, yeah. If not, I got. I'll do it, and 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 I'm going to get this all done so that I can run that. And uh, I I was hoping to have it this past week, but. I had a lot of things come up this week, so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to. And I got a lot going on this week, too. So, so this week's the first of the month, and we have a church, the our men's meeting, and plus we have, you know, my usual Wednesday night Bible study, and, uh, uh, and I got some family things I got to take care of, and it's just one thing after another, but I'm going to work at it whenever I get a chance. So, which today it's raining, it might be a good chance to get a lot done here if I get this video done. So on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. You can see here, when I, again, I'll give another quick shot. And uh, by the way, that over there is on the incline is up for interpretation because I have a couple ideas that I think are going to knock your socks off. Well, it will mine anyhow. So, all right, folks, I'm going to let you go. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For all your support getting me over 500 man i can't believe it 500 wow that's that's a to me it's big so and all your support and help that you've had for helping me along with not only my channel but my layout and i think you guys are great god bless every one of you 
and I do. I, I really mean that when I say, I, I, my hope for you is that the Lord's will is done in your life and just blesses you with no end. So, thank you again. We'll see you next week. Uh, maybe in some of the chats. I hope to be on Tony's chat tomorrow night. So, thank you again. Bye now.